Hey, hey, Virgo, intuitive soul coach here with your April 2023 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Virgo and take a look at all things related to career, finances, wealth, abundance, and income. Just a friendly reminder, Virgo, these are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, they're giving me a song right now. Uh, the song is Lose Yourself by Eminem, and there is, uh, there is a verse about, you know, this is your one shot. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. So I feel like there is some sort of opportunity or communication because they're really highlighting the throat chakra as well, Virgo, where there's going to be an opportunity and it's important for you to either speak up, grab it. There could be a conversation coming into your world, whether it's with, you know, your boss, whether it's with a sponsorship, a partnership, because I'm getting here collaborations as well. They're showing me two rings two uh, loops. Remember when you were a kid and you would make maybe the chain links? That's what they're showing me here. So, I mean, that could certainly show up in your world where maybe you actually see one of those paper chain links, or maybe your children just created those. Please take that as it resonates. But I do feel here that there is an opportunity coming into your world. So you may want to look uh, at those lyrics or maybe some of you just heard that song on the radio. And I feel like this, this is a moment for you. So diving in here to the past energy, Virgo, you have the gears showing up. This is about money flowing, trying to put your work into action here. Hard work, dedication, effort, putting your plans into motion. So you may have been building up a business, trying to climb that ladder. This could be a team situation, or you may have been even individual working solo, but it's to create something for the whole. So maybe you are a social media influencer, but it's the whole team, your followers, followers, your, uh, you know, the people that look up to you as well. So I'm getting here team environment. This may have been about you taking a little bit of time off because you've been working really hard. Some of you may have recently taken a vacation or some PTO in the recent past, but I do believe here that you are heading towards a lot of growth because you've been putting in the work, but make sure you stop and smell the roses along the way. Now, Virgo, in the present energy, you have the book. So this is April showing up. This is all about paperwork, contracts, learning as you go. This is about writing. Some of you may be writing a book, taking a class, educating yourself. There could even be some sort of law and order showing up here. I'm getting strong knowledge, being inquisitive. It wouldn't surprise me to see that page or even Knight of Swords, even King of Swords, because I do feel like you are staying logical this month. Uh, Virgo, of course, you're leading with the heart, but you're letting your logical mind help you move forward on your path. And you're letting your logical mind as well push aside any fear instead of succumbing and not making a move because you have this one shot. And I feel like you're taking it, you're embracing it, you're excited about it here. But you may have to take a leap of faith, sign a contract, uh, look over some paperwork. There could be learning as you go. And that may have been a fear in the past. What if I don't have enough information? What if I don't have enough knowledge? You're going to learn, you're going to educate, you're going to grow, and you're going to, again, take the steps along the way to learn. And you don't have to have all of those pieces or pieces of even knowledge set in place before you decide to take a leap. They're really showing me the swords energy uh, in the in your reading. So I'll be curious to see if that shows up. Now in the future, you have the tree. I like to call this the money tree, right? It's about financial growth. It also reminds me of that 10 of pentacles, things coming to fruition, generosity, abundance. You may be spending more time outdoors in the month of April, or you have maybe even an outdoor job or someone around you within the family may have an outdoor job, but this is about stability long-term growth, longevity. When you think of that 10 of pentacles, there may have been a situation that you were dealing with. It could have been an inheritance. It could have been a medical leave, something of that nature that you felt stuck in. And I do feel more abundance coming in around that April, even into May time as well. 
April showers brings May flowers. So I don't feel like, you know, April is going to be, uh, you know, a, a negative energy showers. It's almost like a clean slate. When the rain comes, it, it allows for fresh growth. So I do feel like there's new opportunities coming in here for you. So let's dive into your energy. I'm really loving that song. It's, it's replaying over and over. So do not miss your shot. So there's some opportunity coming in that's going to really, I don't feel take you by surprise because I feel like it's what you've been trying to manifest, Virgo. But it may take you by surprise that you have this opportunity because it may be something that you've wanted for quite some time. Time, and then it's finally here and it's almost like you pause or there's a moment of speechlessness okay it's almost like cat got your tongue or you know choking here on uh your words or you just don't have you don't know what to say so basically being speechless i like this energy though for you let's dive in and see what is the heart of the matter when it comes to finances for virgo in the month of april what is the heart of the matter for virgo justice beautiful this is about balance right it is about things becoming equal becoming balanced there may have been a cycle that you went through maybe it was a karmic cycle for some of you for others of you this is that king and queen of swords right this is that things coming to justice uh, rational logical solutions showing up for you so if you felt like things were imbalanced if you felt like there was some sort of judgment call needed or if there was a legality situation or something that was unfair or even uh imbalanced it's showing up here for you to clear clear the pay, pay excuse me clear the path and clear a new uh energy just like i said earlier uh april showers brings may flowers and in this case it is that money tree of something growing so really powerful there's going to be a new contract coming in but let's clarify this justice justice showing up hot wow okay bringing balance back into your world what do we have here to clarify the queen of wands beautiful the queen of wands she's the social butterfly right she's the one who manifests her dreams because she feels confident she feels inspired but she also takes action so when this queen of wands shows up she's very creative and artsy she could be an entrepreneur she may work in the office she may be in customer service or multitask with what it is that she does she carries a lot of different roles but she's able to do them effectively and efficiently so this queen is very uh very bold she's very attractive and she inspires others to live their best life because she lives hers so i do feel like there's an opportunity that's bringing in more balance that helps inspire you and helps you feel like you are embracing that positive side of the queen of wands now when the queen of wands isn't feeling empowered she can feel jealous she can feel insecure. She can even feel vengeful or even let the ego get in the way. And that's what I was getting in the beginning where I feel like you're sending the ego to the side and you're making rational decisions, but also leading with the heart. And that's going to allow you to magnify a situation and attract it. Or you could also be stepping into that spotlight, which you see here with the sunflower. And you can see that all of those beautiful creatures are attracted to her light. And so I feel like this is your chance to shine. This is your one shot. This is your opportunity here of a lifetime. So really powerful energy coming in right off the bat, Virgo. Let's take a look and see what is challenging your energy for the month of April and how we can help you navigate through it. What do we have here for Virgo? What's, what's crossing the energy for Virgo, please? I'm getting here that... It is incoming. I'm getting seven of wands energy where it could be incoming energies where sometimes people may be feeling jealous or they may not like the energy that you're putting out because maybe it doesn't jive with theirs, especially if you are in a higher frequency and you are feeling good, you're feeling confident, you're shining and other people want a little bit of a uh, piece of that light or that spotlight, but they're not getting it. They could be vengeful. They could say negative things. They could hurt you. They could try to jeopardize. We have five of wands. So close enough to that seven that I was feeling here, because this can be the, the, the criticism, just as we were talking about here. So it can be criticism. It can be other people being competitive. It can be rivalry or just different views. And that is the challenge where everybody has their own views. And Virgo, 
the opportunity for you this month is to bring balance and to accept that yes, everyone has different views, everyone has different perspectives, and it's not your job to uh, you know make them feel a certain way. And I feel like you wouldn't try to do that anyway, Virgo, but sometimes people get really narrow-minded and then they may come up against your energy and they may say, I don't like what you're doing, or I don't agree with you, or you know, they criticize your work or criticize the way you look, or they try to leave bad reviews. And it's just because the energy isn't jiving, but I feel like you're going to find solutions to work together to respond in a, in an effective way. So for example, perhaps you write a book, right? Because you have book here. And let's say you were really excited about writing your book. You finally got it published. You got it out there. And then the reviews start to come in because you sell some books, right? And let's say the majority of those books, four out of five are, uh, or excuse me, the majority of the reviews are a four out of five, but you're always going to get the opposing view of someone who doesn't like your work, right? And that actually means that you're hitting new levels. Like they say, new level, new devil. So if you're not, pardon my language, I don't know if I can, uh, <laughs> if you're not making someone mad, we'll say that. If you're not making someone mad, I feel like you're not doing it right because it's just about you, again, not trying to intentionally make someone mad, but it means that you're getting enough feedback, enough energy from people all around you because not that you're putting off, you know, negative vibrations here. It's that you're shining your light and you're going to attract people from all over. And so the challenge for you is to, I uh, have have grace, uh, stay humble, and stay within your integrity and know that everyone has that freedom of speech as well. You may be appalled because someone may say something difficult to you uh, or they may give you a review and you're thinking, whoa, where did that come from? That was completely out of left field. That wasn't even what I was talking about. So when this five of wands shows up here, you're going to stay determined to head towards your success. When you look here at this at this beaver, this beaver is busy making its dam, right? And when you think of a beaver making a dam, sometimes they go through treacherous waters. Sometimes they have to go to the very bottom of the river, bottom of the uh, the stream, and that can be difficult. They could get swallowed away within that uh, that water. There can be forceful waters coming in. There could be a waterfall that takes over, right? There's always some sort of external force that can come at them. But when they are determined to creating and building that stability for themselves, for their family, there's no stopping them. And that's why beaver dams are sometimes some of the most magnificent pieces or foundations because it comes from this this determination, this hard work, and this is what you're doing here. So I feel like you're staying graceful and regardless of what external influences or external environment, situations, words come at you, Virgo, you're not going to let them break you or get the best of you. So really powerful. We spent a lot of time on that, but I feel like it is a challenge that you may have struggled with in the past and it's actually may have uh, brought about that negative queen of wands energy where it did make you feel insecure. It did make you feel maybe even a little bit um, catty where you wanted to snap or, you know, respond in a negative or a, a catty manner, right? A childish manner. But I feel like you're overcoming that and you're realizing that other people's projections are based on themselves, right? It has nothing to do with you, just because they don't jive with your energy. We can't please everyone, Virgo. And I feel like, although at times you may try, I feel like you're staying in your own lane, you're staying determined, and your hard work is going to pay off. So pat yourself on the back. There it is. There's that seven of wands to clarify what I was feeling here. So the seven of wands is even though things may feel like they're coming in from all angles. Maybe you felt like you've got easily offended in the past. Maybe you felt like you were on guard, defensive, right? Or you felt the pressure everywhere you turned. You're breaking free from that and you're saying, heck no, I'm not going to let those people get the best of me. I'm not going to let that situation, that environment, that challenge, that struggle. You're breaking free from the cage. You're not letting other people put you in a cage, basically, because you've learned. You have the Hierophant here. So you are taking a look at your, your integrity and your beliefs and your morals, and you're saying to yourself, I'm not going to put out the energy that someone... Uh, 
someone who put me in this cage is. I'm not going to stoop to a lower energy. It's not an eye for an eye. It is about acceptance and it is about seeing things from a big picture. You can see that this owl, he's sitting in this tree. What is this tree? This is the money tree or the tree of knowledge, right? He's sitting there and he's able to actually overcome, see above, climb that tree and manifest more abundance, right? Because he's able to He's able to stay within his energy and not be easily offended by every single thing, whether it's the wind, whether it's the rain, right? This is just symbolically for external conditions coming in, but he's breaking free from the cage. So, woo, really positive, uh, but yet deep. I feel like this is you, Virgo, really climbing to the top here in a beautiful way. Now, let's dive into the foundation. What is the foundation upon which you're built here? What is the foundation? I would say strength, determination. Virgo, you have the drive. You have the motivation. You have the effort. Seven of Wands, again. Oh, my goodness. So just to clarify here, Seven of Wands is showing up twice. So this is extra confirmation. Plus, it's what Spirit was saying prior to getting the Seven of Wands here. So this Seven of Wands, look at this in both cards. The, the gator there, or crocodile, whichever one, um, is sitting at the shore. And he, he is contemplating, do I go into the water? Because there's a lot of people that may not share my views. But he's going to get into the water regardless of the other gators and what they have to say, right? Because gators can be very uh, territorial, so I do feel here that you are saying to yourself, yes, this is my energy, but I'm staying within my own, right? And I'm going to still get in that water regardless if this is your space or mine because this is my energy and I'm not going to avoid a situation because it feels uncomfortable to you. It's going to feel uncomfortable to me as well, but I'm going to embrace it. I'm not going to avoid it because I'm, because I'm afraid my feelings are going to get hurt or because I'm afraid you're not going to step out of the way. Now, it's not not a, a arrogant energy here. It's just an energy of non-conforming. Yeah, those gators may be staying in the water saying, this is my space. You cannot get through. But I feel what you're doing is standing up for yourself. You're defending yourself. You're being brave. You're protecting what is yours. And maybe on the other side here is your home. And you're going to get to it by going in those waters, regardless of what comes at you. You have what it takes to face it. So yes, there's that determination. There is that strength. So beautiful confirmation. Let's take a look, Virgo, at what is going on in the past. What's showing up in the past that may still be affecting your present? What's going on for Virgo? Three of Wands. Three of Wands. There was something that led you to get off your perch. Basically, when this Three of Wands shows up, you can see this beautiful songbird. He was once on that perch, right? But now is the time to spread his wings and to fly, to get off of that landing. So there's a new opportunity coming in. And that's what I was feeling in the very beginning, where this is about expansion. It is about optimism, a return on an investment that you've made. That investment could be in your business, within yourself, within your career. Now is the time to take that leap of faith as well. Uh, when this Three of Wands shows up, this is about not taking your eye off that prize. And now you're seeing that your, your ships are kind of coming in, right? You're seeing that things are starting to take form, take shape in the physical world for you. And I feel like you've recently taken some sort of approach in the recent past that's allowing you to see from that higher perspective. Now let's clarify the Three of Wands. All right, Two of Swords, you had to make a decision. Well, the decision literally was, do I stay on the perch? Do I stay and plan and you know be comfortable? Or do I, do I work on something within my mind? Do I work on the law of attraction and trying to manifest? Or do I also mix my beliefs with action? And that's where that miracle happens. So instead of sitting on the perch, thinking and creating and working on your dreams from a, a, a mental space or from a, a esoteric space, you're taking it down to the physical and you're saying, yes, I'm taking action. I'm going for this. I'm launching a product. I'm talking to the boss or I'm I'm deciding to go forward and go with that interview. So you had a decision to make here. And you can see the birds. There's a lot of birds here. Okay, maybe there's only two. But I feel like I feel like what this is saying is 
You're reaching new levels. You're reaching new heights. And there's a beautiful new opportunity coming in. So let's dive into the juicy good stuff. Let's get into what you're manifesting and what's coming in in the near future. So what are you manifesting? What's in your headspace at this time? All right. The Queen of Wands again. You're getting just double back to backs. This Queen of Wands, beautiful. I'm glad that she shows up even more so than the King or Queen of Swords because she is, you know, magnified. And on both of the Queen of Wands, she has that sunflower. And so I feel like the first thing I'm getting here is divinely protected, but it is about you stepping into the spotlight. Now, this lioness, she doesn't need to tell the pride that she is a lioness, right? She doesn't need to... Uh, you know, to put herself out there and exclaim what she's doing because other people just naturally gravitate towards her. When this Queen of Wands shows up, she's very bold and wise and other people often stop to pay attention to what she says. She lights up a room and it doesn't matter if you're female or male, but you're definitely stepping into your power. And I like this showing up for you, Virgo, because I feel like this is your shot. This is your chance to step into your power, something you've been working on manifesting, something that you've been wanting to shift in your career, your finances, could even be a move, it could be going for a class, a workshop, it could be saying yes to something that had held you back. Some of you also, I'm getting this with that seven of wands and five of wands, some of you were afraid to step forward because you thought that there was so much of it. I'm getting saturation. You may have felt like your line of work, it was saturated or there was a lot of competition and you thought, well, how can I be different? How can I use my authentic authenticity to grow and to evolve when everybody else and their mom and their uncle and their brother have done this as well? So I do feel here that there was a saturation within the market, but when you stay within your truth, when you stay within your own authenticity, then this is when you feel empowered and you're going to see that that energy gravitates towards you. So really powerful. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands, please, for Virgo. Whoa, right away, Wheel of Fortune. You're going to make money off this. So even if you've thought that you couldn't or if you thought that luck wasn't in your favor, I feel like fate is intervening and saying, this is your path. This is your destiny. This is your sole purpose. So don't not do it because there's so much out there. I mean, if there were a billion avocados that came out of uh, California and you said to yourself, well, there's just too many avocados. Everybody else is eating them. Would you not eat the avocado because there's just so many and it's saturating the market? No, you would want to get in on it as well because there's plenty of avocados to go around. So some of you may be saying, well, Melissa, that's not relevant, right? It's not relevant, but it is because it's saying that there's so much to go around that we don't have to just limit ourselves, limit our skills, limit our capabilities because it may feel saturated, okay? When this Wheel of Fortune shows up for you, Virgo, this is about good luck. It is a turning point. It is fortune. No more repeating a cycle that maybe you've been through, especially with the gears. If you've been putting in the hard work, I'm getting that you're going to work smarter, not harder. And it's okay to put yourself out there because this is a chance of a lifetime here. All right, let's see what's coming in in the near future. What do we have showing up in the near future? I do feel like there's going to be a little bit, you know, of, of work. I'm not saying, you know, working smarter, not harder isn't going to be work, but I do feel like you're going to be living in your freedom here, living in your joy. Now we have this card that came out. This is what you're telling yourself. This is what's showing up in the near future. Six of wands. Beautiful. Six of Wands is about fame. It's about fortune. Some of you are literally stepping into the spotlight with, you know, becoming a, a publisher, an editor, an actor, a social media influencer, a writer. Six of Wands is can be social media presence, but it is about public recognition, victory, fame, achievement. If you felt overlooked in the past or if you felt humiliated or shamed, as we talk about a little bit with this Five of Wands, I feel like it's your time to shine because look at the challenge is the Five of Wands. What's showing up in the near future is the Six of Wands. So you are overcoming that obstacle. You're overcoming that challenge in big ways and it's going to lead right here to a lot of success, a lot of financial growth, a lot of good fruit here. Really po positive energy. Six of Wands, good vibes. 
let's take a look and clarify the six of wands there's some big achievement here that you are hitting because it's not necessarily that four of wands you go from the three to the six right and you have seven of you have a lot of wands here wow Almost all of your cards are wands besides this justice, literally every single one. So Virgo, there is a lot of inspiration, a lot of fiery energy. Some of you have strong fire placements in your chart, whether that is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you may be on the cusp as well or have some of those placements in your chart. Now, I'm also sensing that a lot of you have that creativity within you, creative, passionate, spiritual force where you're focusing on your career and your projects in the month of April where you're going to finally be able to live and lead with passion oh I love this for you you have knight of wands another wand showing up here along with the ace of cups this is something that fulfills you on a heart level right this is emotional this is a new beginning. It is a gift of love, a new connection here, a soul quenching renewal. And some of you are ready for this. This is your opportunity to shine. Literally, that that's, you know, looks like the ring of fire. And so, I mean, you could be having an Elvis moment, a uh, ring of fire here, but I, I, is that ring of fire? Uh, but I do feel like a lot of you are really just taking leaps and bounds. You're re ready to jump through hoops, even if it's fire hoops, to chase your dreams, chase your passion, and chase your excitement here. If you are brave enough to move forward, which I see you are with all of this action, this is about you being that instinctual leader and getting things done, okay? This is warrior energy. It is excitement, and you are heading towards a new beginning, which is going to lead to a lot of happiness. Woo! Virgo, what a powerful reading. I'm hoping this is resonating. If it is, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. What are you feeling? Six of Swords, moving on to calmer waters, right? You've been through the storm. You've been through the challenge. You've been through a spiritual awakening, which we go through many of them here on earth. But when the Six of Swords shows up, you're freeing yourself from a less than ideal situation and you're heading towards something that feels more safe, more solid, more stable. This is about you transitioning to something better. I really love this for you. And you're ready for this transition. This is what you're telling yourself. I'm ready. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to release, step into the next level, step into the next tier, open the next chapter, write the next book. The Hierophant, because you've done a lot of learning, a lot of spiritual learning as well. Some of you have really went inward this year with you Virgos, uh, spiritual enlightenment, shadow work. You've been through the dark night of the soul. You've been hurt. You've been challenged. You've been broke, right? You've been all of these things, but you've learned and grown. And one of my most favorite sayings is you can either become bitter or better. The choice is yours. And whatever choice is ultimately, uh, you know, what it comes down to, what you believe, because that's what's true for you. If you believe that these situations make you better, then you are right. And if you believe that they make you bitter, then you are right as well. So the Hierophant is saying here that you've gained the knowledge. You've gained the knowledge to turn that knowledge into wisdom and not repeat a cycle. And that's why you have justice showing up. And it could have been a karmic cycle. You may have chose to experience some difficulties here on earth earth Virgo but you have also challenged yourself to move forward and become more determined than ever because of them so pat yourself on the back I got full body shivers here full body goosebumps you've overcome a lot but get ready to step into this new energy new frequency what's going on in your environment what is going on around you what's going on in your environment Virgo the devil what did I say earlier? New level, new devil. So yeah, there's going to be new responsibilities. There's going to be new people that you come up against. But this devil energy is external. So the good news is you are aware. You're staying in your power regardless of what comes at you, right? And you can see. I like that this is showing up in your environment because you can see it. It'd be worse if it was in your headspace because sometimes we get 
you know, uh, convoluted. We Sometimes we get where we can't necessarily deal with this or we don't know what it is or what we're attached to, but this is some other energy coming in and you can see it from an external point of view that you don't succumb to it, that you don't let it attach to you, right? This devil energy is about reclaiming your power, even though people around you may be manipulating, they may be uh, uh, fearful, they may be materialistic, they may be even codependent, right? This can be about releasing yourself from temptations or releasing yourself from attachments. And I feel like though other people may be this way around you, you're deciding not to partake in this energy. Let's take a look and clarify the devil, please. What do we have? Woo, we have the emperor right away. The emperor showing up here with a bundle below it. We'll take a look at it all. Uh, we have, oh my gosh, there it is. We have the emperor the King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Hermit. Exactly what I just said here. So the Emperor is you taking your power. It is about you being able to, some of you, the devil could be a boss or it could be a governing agency, someone of higher authority here, but you're learning to question, right? You're learning to question what is true for me? How can I step back? How can I not partake in this energy? And a lot of you are deciding to build upon your own stability in a new way and disconnecting from something that is toxic, that is unhealthy, or it's immoral. I'm getting immoral. Even though we don't have the seven of swords, I feel like there may have been a situation where just someone was unfair, treating others unfairly, poorly, or even unethically. King of Pentacles says you're going to create your stability in a, in a new way. I feel like this Aries energy, which is came up earlier as well. This is about you taking a stance. This is about you pushing forward, chasing your dreams, building your stability, your pentacle. And that's you, King of Pentacles there, Virgo. And we have the, the Nine of Swords. You're not going to let other people's views or opinions bring you down. Uh, if anything, you're going to, you've gained wisdom. You have the hermit because all eyes are on her. She feels naked. She feels, well, she is naked. She feels vulnerable, right? She feels like all eyes are on her. So there could be something that you're getting vulnerable about. You're putting yourself out there, but I feel like you're going to push through the anxieties because you are a boss. You are a leader here. Uh, whether this is you stepping forward, whether it's you building about your stability, your vulnerability is actually actually one of your best features. It's a lot of our best features here. And the hermit is saying that there's introspection that may take shape. This is about soul searching, self-knowledge. And I feel like a lot of you may be meditating more as well for some answers on how to deal with maybe if this is someone above you in this emperor energy and how to create more stability for yourself. You have what it takes here really powerful. Let's see what your hopes and fears are, Virgo. What are your hopes and what are those fears? Hopes and fears for Virgo. Four of wands. Gosh, I feel like you got almost every single wand out here on the board. Four of wands is the energy of success. It is communal achievement. It is hitting a milestone. When these uh, birds of a feather, okay, thank you, spirit, birds of a feather flock together, basically, when you see these birds here, they have their little beaks open and they're singing. And you know, when birds start to get singing, every bird starts to chime in. And before you know it, there's a symphony of songbirds out there singing a tune, right? This is the energy that you're, you want. You want everyone to be in this frequency of sharing and vibing at the, the level of that beauty, right? That energy that song that is communal, that everyone is partaking in. But of course, you're going to get some bad apples or some people that don't want to be a part of the song, right? That they want to go off and sing their own song, or maybe they just keep their mouth shut. I feel like this is about you celebrating some sort of success. And the fear here is, what if I miss out on this opportunity? The fear here is, what if there's a, a delay or what if uh, plans don't go as expected? What if I celebrate too soon? There's a celebration coming in. I say celebrate now. Celebrate now. Let's take a look at the final outcome. What is the final outcome? Wouldn't that be a thing if, if the Ace of Wands showed up here for you? Then you really would have all the wands out there. So let's take a look. What's that final outcome? For Virgo, what do we have? Fine. Oh gosh, you're getting a lot. Wow. The first one out that I can see is this Hierophant, which we've been seeing and talking about a lot, but I'm, 
just need one spirit. One, please. What do we have for Virgo? All right, we'll go with the one that just flipped. Oh, I love it. Guess what it is, Virgo? Wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. This is your wishes manifesting. This is your wishes coming true. This is about you shining those peacock feathers, beautiful Virgo. You shining. No more holding yourself in, right? When you see a peacock walking by, the first thing you think is, oh, I wanted to fan out, right? And maybe you don't think that, but you think of how beautiful of a creature it is. And sometimes we don't even realize how beautiful this creature is until it fans out in all of its glory all of its beauty, all of its abundance. When this nine of cups shows up as your final outcome, this is a wish fulfillment that you've been wanting. Emotional fulfillment as you have that ace of cups as well. This is about happiness, success, achievement and completion. You didn't believe something was going to happen and boom, in the month of April, this is your opportunity once in a lifetime. So do not miss your shot. Wow, powerful. And again, now I'm, I'm going to want to look up the lyrics of that song, but in the lose yourself, I feel like, you know, again, in being in the spotlight, don't lose yourself to the negative. If you're going to lose yourself, uh, put yourself in that energy of beauty and abundance and power. Lose yourself in that vibration. Don't lose yourself in the crowd or the negativity, I should say. The Nine of Cups is all about wish fulfillment. And boy, oh boy, Virgo, is it coming in for you. Oh, I love this. I don't think we need a clarifier, but we're going to pull one anyway. Nine of Cups. I mean, beautiful vibration. But let's see what else is coming up with that Nine of Cups. What do we have for Virgo, please? And at the bottom of the deck, there's that Seven of Wands showing up once again for you. But you have options. Seven of Cups. This is also about those daydreams. What is it that you've been wishing about? Okay, what is it that you've been fantasizing? What have you been dreaming about? Because now it's showing up in your world. Oh, I love it. Really powerful reading here, Virgo. I, I'm liking this for you a lot. Let's take a look and get a message from the wisdom of the Oracle. And I will read to you the prosperity message from the guidebook. We have not for you. And at the bottom, we have co-create. So I feel like whatever that devil energy is that's showing up, that's what's not for you, which we already talked about. So it's not saying that your dreams aren't for you. That's not at all what it's saying. But there may be something you need to walk away from to manifest your dreams. There may be something within your throat chakra that you speak up and it helps you manifest your dreams. This is also card six. You see here the six of swords. You see the six of wands. Getting yourself out of a less than ideal situation, one that's unhealthy, one that's toxic, that stuff's not for you, right? Okay, let's take a look and clarify here. Also, some of you may have a birthday on the 6th. You may have a 6 in your age or in your birth uh, number. This could also be a, your life theme or personal year number. And for those of you that are interested in personal year numbers, I did link in the description box below a specific video on personal years. That's for all signs. So you may want to check that out as well. This is a clear knowing that something is denied or rejected because rejection is God's protection. Something is rejected in order for you to have your full wishes manifested here. And the prosperity message is this. You can strategize and project and systemize and invest all your time and energy, but sometimes your best laid plans seem to go all right in spite of it all. Keep in mind that no effort is wasted. Fast fail and learn excuse me, fail fast and learn from defeat, then keep going. You will succeed. Although perhaps not in the timing that you think, maybe at, not at right away, but know when to fold your cards. Know when to play because there are certain cards and hands that you have to fold, right? If you're not going to hit uh, a pair, if you're not going to hit anything good and you know your opposing view or excuse me, your opposing player has a full house or a, a straight, whatever it is here, I feel all also, what this is saying is sometimes there's a facade. Sometimes someone is trying to trick you, right? They may trick you thinking that they have a full house, but maybe you have the best hand. So I'm getting two energies from this as well. I mean, some of you, maybe you're professional poker players. Some of you are knowing and you're able to read through if someone is playing a trick on you because that could actually lead you towards the nine of cups. And that's what I feel is not for you. Trust your intuition here at this time. Trust that things turn out for a reason because you see the four 
fortune cookie. And this fortune cookie is actually going to bring good fortune and good luck uh, in the near future for you. There's success. There's celebration. Don't let this devil energy push you around basically is what I'm getting, whether it's your own thoughts, whether it's your own programming, whether it's someone around you, don't let that person uh, take advantage, basically. All right, let's get a few messages from the spirit animal. And at this time, Virgo, if you can, I just ask if you can close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in from that solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And tune into that third eye center, the area between your eyebrows. And I want you, Virgo, to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this can be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. It could be an animal that is wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. It could be an animal that's recently crossed your path in the great outdoors, or one that's visited through your dreams. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your power animals in the comment box below. And I personally will enter you into that free reading giveaway where I draw one lucky winner around the first of each month and post right back here on this channel. All right, so you have here card 18, 19, 25, and three. Now some of you may have birth dates on those dates or that could be a uh, part of your, your synchronicities that you start to see those numbers, 18, 19. You see ascending numbers as well as what I'm getting, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. You may start to see that on the clock, on a license plate, uh, in numbers, numerology but it means you're climbing ahead here. We have Armadillo, set healthy boundaries. This also is talking about you having a little bit of a thick skin, okay? You having a thick skin. So it's about not taking things so personally, not letting the attacks get the best of you. And I was feeling that earlier with that seven of wands showing up multiple times in your reading. And I feel like you have created this thick skin, but it's boundaries. It's not that you're not letting love or receptivity or abundance show up in your world it's just that you're not letting the world break you down basically is what i'm getting here bring a gentle touch because underneath this hardness of the armadillo is some softy goodness soft goodness right this is about you bringing that gentle touch of compassion of kindness it's also card 18 which can be that moon energy so when things are exposed when you need more clarity this is about you going within and being gentle and kind with yourself we have dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. That's that sun energy as well. So this is all about you staying true to yourself, your true north, your own beliefs uh, that are positive, that are helpful, that are inspirational, and stay true and loyal to your heart's desires. And that's going to lead to more abundance than you know. And lastly, we have elephant. Learn from the past. And I feel like we mentioned that earlier as well, where you're turning that knowledge into wisdom. You're going to learn from the past so you don't repeat things, especially if it was a karmic cycle, or if you've chose to have a specific human experience, and maybe it was less than ideal, but you're moving out of it. You're moving towards calmer waters with that six of swords. So really powerful messages from your animals. Again, please feel free to drop yours in the comment box below. And now last but not least, Virgo, we're going to see which gemstone, crystal, mineral, or fossil you can utilize in the month of April to help you towards your path of abundance. What do we have here for Virgo? We have Bronzite, card 13. And this is interesting because 13 in tarot is that death energy. So major transformations happening from the inside out. This is all about loyalty, trust, self-respect. And it is the energy of the universe having your back. And the prosperous message is this. 
Your true heart is recognized by the universe who wants only the best for you. As much as you want to trust others, be mindful of others who you sense do not deserve your trust. Hello, devil, right? Sometimes these people may play a facade that they have your best interest at heart, but really they, they may not. Cautiously... Cautiously and mindfully venture to lend your loyalty again anyway, knowing that you are where you are meant to be. And you have the universe as your ally to send you signs when a situation or individual warrants your caution. You can release your fears of being affected by the negativity of others. Be steadfast in your conviction as you work with others to build and maintain a firm financial foundation for yourself. You are stronger and wiser than you once were. And now you can trust yourself to know when you must make a a change take action or speak a truth let go of your self-doubt for bronzite spirit is telling you that you can be trusted to know what you need to do to make good decisions regarding your finances this stone when you meditate on this it can assist us in releasing uh when it comes to releasing discontent okay when it's uh when it needs when we need to rely on our strength it lends us support so it also can fall bring things to fall away right this devil energy if you struggle with this devil in your life whether it's a person place thing thought pattern habit whatever this devil is for you attachment it can help you release these attachments especially when it comes to self-doubt because again you have a big shot a big opportunity coming in virgo in the month of uh April here. And if you need a little bit more strength, uh, discerning what needs to be released in order for you to fully embrace this energy, then Bronzite can help you do so. So really beautiful reading here. You are full of strength, full of determination, and wow, full of passion. So don't be afraid to step into the spotlight this month. It may take you by surprise. Thank you so much, Virgo, for allowing me to tune in. If this message resonates, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. And please do drop your animals in the comment box. I read each and every one of them. And for those of you who have gone through a tower moment, or if you are having a hard time deciphering what maybe your spiritual gifts are, or if you would like to know more about your personal year numbers, these are timeless readings and they're for everyone. I have listed them in the description box below if you'd like to check them out. Thank you so much for being here, Virgo. Lots of love.